presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We have five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's uh, June 15th out. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Learn to ask questions. It is always better to ask questions than make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions and to be as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to the question, you won't make, have to make the assumption because you will know the truth. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 352. You get the NASDAQ up 287. S&Ps are up 60. Gold contract up $23.60 trading out at $18.37 an ounce. We get silver up. 78 cents, 21 dollars, 78 cents an ounce. Platinum up 15 bucks, trading out at uh, 9.29 an ounce. Light sweet crude off three bucks, 115 dollars, 78 cents a barrel. And notes and bonds. The 10-year note trading up 27 ticks at 115.08. 30 year up a full point, plus three ticks at 132.14. And King Dollar, King Dollar is down. 476 ticks at 105.044. The euro out here is at 104. The yen is at one. 34 and the British pound is at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do we have? Well, you got Powell out. Bottom line, we did get 75 basis points. Okay. Um, uh, hike. Uh, one of the things that he said, let me tell you something, man. This is, I, I just, I, of course, I just come on the air, uh, but when he answered the uh, question that, hey, listen, we're in a restrictive monetary policy and we can get a lot more restrictive. That in itself, folks, let me tell you something, man. Uh, I haven't heard a quote like that. Uh, I, I don't know how long. <laughs> uh, if I ever actually did hear a quote like that, um, you know, whole different ballgame. That, that's, that's the bottom line. I'm talking about a whole different ballgame. So let's go take a look at this intraday and see what we have. Okay, so we bring this up. Come on. So you see what's happen happening here? Now, when this happens, let me see if I get another screen. Because this, maybe it's just this screen that's slowing down on me. But when this happens, this means that the volatility is going even higher when this happens with the Bloomberg. Let me see how I can do this so you can make sure we can still get it. Okay. So I'll take that screen there, put this up here. Okay, so now let's see where this sh shakes out. Oops. We got, look at this, man. Why isn't this, is, this is wild. Sorry, just bear with me a second, folks. I'll get this up. This doesn't make any sense to me, actually, that the ES is having a tough time pulling up. Yeah, but that's it, man. What's, ha what's happening, this is, you know what's so cool, folks, is that I've had this for so long. So I have this, then I have a TD Ameritrade, which I trade off of, right? And what happens is that when the Bloomberg slows down, and this is so weird because it should never happen because the Bloomberg should be faster than everything, and it's not. And I think that 
what it, what it seems to be is that when you have heavy downdrafts like this, okay, um, bottom line is there's a pause. And when there's a pause, man, I always know that, okay, man, you're going to have a big move. So let's go take a look at this. I got the S&P up first, okay. Okay, so the high bar in the S&P, bottom line, this is at 38.26. That's a high volume high. So that should get hit first, okay. So that's kind of where we're at. And if we take a look at the NQs, uh, bottom line, I suspect it's going to be the same in the NQs. When I did that update, what was going on is that I didn't roll to the um, heavy, well, I'm, I'm not quite sure whether it's the heavier contract yet, but I'll find out in a second. Yeah, see, this is happening in NQs, too. This is wild, man. Okay, let me just see this. Anyway, let's, boy, it takes so long to, the, this, the, to correspond. It's unbelievable, actually. Um, come on, there we go. Okay, so this just came up. Okay, so in the NQs, it also has the high, high volume high at 11,563. Uh, I mean, 753. So I suspect before the four o'clock hour, this should get tested. Now, if it doesn't, <laughs> uh, let me see this. Let me bring this back a couple days just to see if it was testing something else. That's what I want to look at. I'm pulling this back eight days now. It was at four days. Man, there's a lot of action here because when this happens, this is, it's not unusual when this happens in high volatile markets, okay? Um, but this is definitely much longer than, okay, so here we go. I, it finally came up. Oh, this could be, well, so here's what's really going to be interesting. What we did on that spike is that we, we came to um, Monday's gap down. That's all it did thus far. So we'll see, we'll see where this is going to shake out. You know, uh, it, it, the, one, <laughs> the one thing you want to remember out here, folks, is that we're in a confirmed ABC structure down. So, uh, you know, you can take it for whatever it's worth. Um, but the bottom line is that these ABC structures, um, you know, are pretty consistent. Nothing is, of course, you know, even 80, 90 percent. When I'm not talking that, but... When they're, when they're consistent, they, they are really consistent. There's no, it, well, let's put it this way. They're consistent. That, that's the bottom line. Uh, let's go to uh, Andy in Colorado. Andy, what's going on? Tom, another fun day, huh? Uh, there's no doubt, man. <laughs> there's <laughs> no I, doubt. I've got to tell you, you uh, with all your help and your team's help over the years, it's definitely allowing uh, days like these to be actually fun and entertaining. Um, anyway, um, what I'm looking at is I'm... I'm not being able to spend too much time on this stuff, which is okay because I put myself in a position like I talked to you about back That's in right. November and, and December that you know to get, get out and this you know. But I am looking at and some concentrate crazy stuff on right your now. rentals. This is, so yeah. You, you, this is the thing that's cool about this is that when you stay focused, man, right? That is really important. Stay, stay right there, folks. Andy, we're going to be coming right back, okay? This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. Dow Industrials right now up 302. The Nasdaq's up 250. S&Ps are up 52. We're going to be coming right back. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dow Industrials right now up 300. They get a NASDAQ up 254. S&Ps are up 49. We're talking about Indium, Colorado. And I believe we're going to be talking about uh, the real. Yeah? What's that? Are we talking about the Brazilian real? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, the ticker is Paul David. Um, I'm sorry. One more second. Paul David Bravo Charlie. PDBC. There we go. Okay. Okay. It is a uh, the composition of it is mostly uh, short term um, treasuries, um, and to my point, it's you know I'm just looking at some crazy stuff out there just because the chart looks good. Uh, so I'm just want to get your take uh, on I'm it. I'm trying to this figure out. A, I think is there an X at the end of it? Is it a, is it a credit bond fund? It is the Invesco Optimum Yield Dervis. Excuse me, Invesco Optimum Yield Diversified Commodity Strategy. Yeah, let me have the symbol again, please. Paul David Bravo Charlie. Ah, uh, we go. Awesome, man. Okay, let's take a look at this. Okay, so actively managed fund holds the risk by 14 different commodity futures aimed at mitigating negative roll yield in the contract selections. Okay, let me see these holdings for a second. So they invest the dollar liquidity, so dollar liquidity, commodity strategy, robo. Mm. I think this is gonna be something that, um, that's $19. Right there is eighteen ninety seven. What I would do, Andy, I I would do some more work on this first. I, I can't do it quick enough when I look at these holdings of what it means. Do you know what I'm saying? Sure. Like sure. the Macawire Mac, Macawire index. Like what is that? Let me just see if I can get what that is. Index. Yeah, I don't know what it is. So, because what you don't want to do. So watch this. This is what ends up happening in, bo in any type of a bond fund, right? If the rates keep going higher, even if they seem like they have a nice deal right now, those bonds are going to go lower. You know what I mean? So I just don't know what the rest of the stuff is that is in that fund. 
the, the right, rate. exactly, and that's that's why I'm asking. Is like, why is this going up when it's a bond fund? <laughs> Just well, to... what, could, what could happen is that the it looks like their dollar position is almost like 35 percent. So that would make sense, right? Because the dollar's at all time highs, right? So it's carrying it, yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's that's a 35. You get two and a half percent in oil. You know, and I'm not quite sure about the rest of those, what exactly they are. So, you know. Okay. You'd, what, I, what I would All do right, is well, just make I'm sure just, you... you know, look, I'm just fishing for some crazy stuff. I'm kind of bored right now. I, <laughs> well, <laughs> you got to put your hands in your pocket, man, and, and go groove and go have a, a nice uh, glass of wine and uh, bottom line, go, go look out at those beautiful mountains, man. <laughs> <laughs> right. Or That's, go make that trip to Europe, like you said the other day, the, right? You know, to listen, man. That, folks, okay, this is, this is serious business, right? You know, if you're... As this euro keeps going down, the dollar keeps going up. I mean, if you're going to go to Europe in the next four or five years, man, you know, throw 4,000, 5,000, whatever that is, and get the euros and just put them away, man. You know, it's, it's a good, that, that, you know what I love about that investment? That investment, folks, you're going to go have some fun, particularly if you want to go there anyway. So it's just a matter of, okay, you know, I'm going to spend this much money, convert it into euros, and there you go. You get your vacation, man, you know. So. Right, yeah, that's that's what I should do. I should just go down to the bank and just do that, just to give me something to do. Yeah, and then, then right. also what will end up happening, you're gonna, you know what, I'm going to end up doing it too, because you know what ends up happening? Is that then we'll both get to Europe quicker. That's what that's what also happens, because once you get it into your pocket, you say, hey, man, okay, might as well go, man. We've got to go in that Amalfi Coast and have a nice uh, cafe and watch <laughs> all those fishermen go out and fish in the morning and watch all that great Italian food and sit with all those oh, villages yeah. man are you kidding yeah that's living you know it's so funny we were just talking about this upstairs right before i was coming downstairs man <laughs> uh, gotta love it i'd Talk love to do that yeah yeah okay all man. right tom hey th hey thanks again i appreciate it once again thanks f for all you've done and all your team has done it, no. it's been great and it's really you know made me feel very comfortable with the craziness that's happening today it's 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 a good feeling well thank really you for growling it. and problem with this and wait hey wait here see when i get tommy on next i'm gonna get him on next week he so this right. morning folks okay so my german shepherd is named harley right you've seen him in here he's come in here and this morning so tommy's only 50 well, 16 months old now and he did two syllables this morning harley we, we talk in the morning and the afternoon facetime thank you for facetime um but he said the full name, Harley. It was hilarious, man. It was like me. <laughs> That's great. It was awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> Cooking, brother. Take care, Tom. Have a great one, man. Have a safe Thank one. You. Okay, so let's go take a look at this uh, S&P, because it's going to be cool, man. Here we're going we're gonna to come in for the test. So let's take a look at it and see what this number is again. Because if you're a bull, what you don't want, folks, is this. You actually don't want this to come in for the test right now. What you'd like it to do is it about quarter of that it comes up for the test and blows away it? That's, that's kind of how this should shake out. This is a little bit too early, uh, 3.24 in the afternoon for this to happen because you can come in for the test and not make it, and then all of a sudden you're going to go south. And needless to say, this thing is slow like molasses in a monster way. There's, there's no doubt about it, man. Holy cow, this is crazy. Let me give you some of the higher volume equities in this market until this thing starts to think and decide what it wants to do for itself out here. We have, um, there it is. Okay, cool, I got it. Okay, so right now, um, the high that it's going after, okay, is this uh, 3829. You're at 3814. And... We have right now, we get five minutes into it. So it's dying on the vine. This is not good if you want this market to go higher. The, the, the top tick out here had 11,000 contracts. We're five minutes into it, and you, let, uh, you only had 26,000 contracts. So, so what you'd like to see if you want this to go higher, you'd like to see it basically die in the vine. Not that die in the vine, but it can hang right here until your next 10-minute bar starts. Uh, or maybe go sideways for the, you know, the next uh, 10, 15 minutes, that would be the building clause. Then it can go after it. You know, that, that's kind of how these things get set up, uh, particularly, you know, on a Fed day. It's, it's amazing on a Fed day what does happen, meaning the amount of uh, gyrations 
going forward and going backward, okay? It's totally over the top. There's no doubt about that. We go take a look at the NQs. It's going to be the same type of setup inside the NQs now. Um, you know, the NQs, the high that it's going after, uh, we're, going to get, we're going to go right after it, too. It's only like 40 points away, and 40 points away in a market like this, uh, we know that, you know, it, it goes very quickly. That's the bottom line. Um, stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up uh, 499. NASDAQ's up 346. S&P's are up 80. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 545. You get the NASDAQ up 364. S&Ps are up 87. And uh, we're coming in for this test. Now, what's ha what just happened here, now you're coming up into the swing point, folks, okay, with lighter volume. That being said, and it's tremendously lighter volume, that being said, though, you had the next 10-minute bar just start. So this has a chance, okay, to basically blow it away. Uh, your probability is not high because of the way that we just came into it. What ended up happening is this. The bar itself, okay, has uh, 41,000 contracts, and we're coming up into it, and we only did 14,000. So, you know, that being said, however, though, the bottom line is that um, time-wise, this is, uh, you know, pretty cool because you're, you're talking... Uh, yeah, it's still, too ta it's still talking too early. Interesting. 3.30. Yeah, 3.30 is still too early. But, hey, we'll see. What, what, 
That's the bottom line. We'll see. I mean, I, I, could, I could get into this bar all day long because I love these things when this happens. Because every single time, this is what ends up happening. Every single time that you see a Fed day and that you see how markets trade in a Fed day, and it's also important, folks, that basically you listen to the news conference. Because the news conference, they'll get, like, the parts that I had that, to me, were relevant, like, beyond belief, was the aspect of how he said flat out that we are in a restrictive monetary policy and we plan on being one. That, that says it all, man. <laughs> you know, I've said this many times, that we're all only as strong as what our signature is. That's the bottom line. I don't care what you buy. You know, that's what it is, man. It's a credit society. It's a credit-based society. Um, that makes the difference. So if there's less credit out there, uh, bottom line is that, you know, there's going to be less demand. And, you know, one of the targets brought up uh, in the den, Peter, which is awesome. Today's the first day. Uh, this is when, you know, bottom line, they're going to start running off the balance sheet also. So that part of it there means specifically that they're letting the bonds expire, but they're not coming in the market buying more bonds. So what that does immediately is does what? Well, what it does is that is less demand. So when there's less demand... The market itself, okay, bottom line, not to push those bonds out, are going to need more bonds. Okay, so here, here's the test. Here we go. Uh, now we're up uh, 94. Here's the Qs, okay? We're up 417. The high that we're talking about here, uh, it just blew by it. 753, you're at 755, and we're two minutes into the bar. So the real question is going to be, you know, what happens at 340? And... Yeah, we'll see what happens at 340. That's the bottom line. We'll go into the uh, E-minis. The E-minis right now, they're trading up uh, 94. And I'll get that call. Thanks, Al. And the E-mini right now, right now is trading out at, let's see where we are. Yeah, you have 38.39. Let's go to our man, Tom in Tampa. Tom, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom, how you doing, man? I'm Bones, doing great, man. Yourself? Come on at 8 o'clock tonight. I know. I know. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Big time. That was, yeah. I, I mean, how about... Hey, you want to hear something wild? Yeah. Uh, you know, Pat Riley, president of the uh, Miami Heat down there, he's got a patent on uh, three-peat. Anytime anyone wins, like, you know, three-peat, you know, three national championships, whether it's in pro professional or collegiate sports, men or women's, he gets a royalty off that patent. In other words, when the Chicago Bulls won three national championships, wow. Riley made 300000 off that. I thought that's all I was reading about that this morning. So. That's so cool anyway. to know, man. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. And hey, uh, how about that Stamco's the, goal the other night, huh? Wasn't that oh, amazing? Man, two of them. I yeah, know. Man. No, I know. He, I'm just saying the one that was so far away when he just, whoa, man, yeah. he... Yeah, and we got when we won when we beat the Russians, man. Yeah, back in what was it, seventy six or whatever it was. Right? I know. When the great, just like yeah, yesterday, right? <laughs> yeah, right, bro. Hey, but um, anyways, can we take a look at uh, Philip Morris, Tom? Is this a good dividend stock to own? My aunt likes these dividend stocks to supplement her Social Security check, and I was looking at it and I thought, well, they went through all that legal mess and they went back to fifty bucks, but it seems like, you know, hey, they're international. Let's People take a look at it. So you got Altria Group, okay, the lows forty two, the highs fifty seven. It pays a seven point eight percent dividend. Let's see what we got here. So pull this back. Forty three. Interesting. So what this just did, I'd wait just a bit, Tom, because this may get down to like 30, but you see what it's doing here? It, it's trading. Hey, Harry, Tom, are you looking at Philip Morris PM? Oh, oh no. Michael. Hold. Oh, okay. One second. Oh, this is interesting. I never realized that they, oh, so Altria spun this off. Interesting. Okay. Hold it. Okay, so yeah, let me see this. Okay, so the lows eighty five, the highs one hundred and twelve. They pay a five percent dividend, right? And now I wouldn't bite on this yet because what you have here, watch this, pull this up. The bottom of the consolidation here is like eighty eight. I suspect we'll go back there. 
You know what I mean? And the reason I'm saying that, so the first high Tom had, you know, up at that 112 had volume of 38 million, okay? Then it comes down, that low is 49. The next high had 30. So you can see it had less strength the second time going up, which is three weeks ago. So that's saying that, you know, your consolidation, it's a high volume low at the consolidation. So at least wait into that low and see what it's doing. Okay. Looking, brother. Amen. Right, Go Bolts. Go Bolts. That's right, man. All Let's right, go to Tom, our man thanks. White Shark in Boston. White Shark, what's happening, brother? Hey, Tommy. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, struggling a little bit with pneumonia after COVID, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not quite four weeks into this thing, but I'm doing okay. Wow. Um, the, uh, the NQ, uh, and I, I just noticed that the, the VIX kind of turned up off of its low at 27.76. So the TQQ, uh, the three Qs, that's what I'm looking at yeah. and looking to, you know, take a position. I don't know if this is going to, it was kind of, you know, buy the rumor and, and you know, sell the, sell the confirmation. So I uh, just kind of want your opinion on that. So let's take a look. The TQQ is the three times, uh, the fund six investments correspond three times the daily performance of the NDX 100. Uh, right now, it's up two dollars and thirty nine cents. Um, you know, this is. You know, yeah. Can can this you know get up to uh, thirty four ninety eight? Yes, it can. Uh, what I would wait here um, for sure, man, is to see where, how okay. we close out here. You know what I mean? Because if we do close out positive, then yeah, I'd say that yeah, you can get into it because. It'll probably throws it into a consolidation for another month or something. Do you know what I mean? They'll they'll run back up to the highs that were generated out here, you know, a week and a half ago, and we'll see what yep. it can do. But I would wait because right now, if this, let's picture that, you know, you get the Dow up 530, the Nasdaq's up 360, the S and P's are up 85. If the S and P's are only up 50 bucks at the close, don't buy anything, man. <laughs> you know, okay. because All right. the writing's on the wall, man. And I'm yep. hoping it will send you some good white light out there, man, you know, to, because unfortunately, you know, it always seems like a crapshoot with this COVID, man. Some people get really sick and, you know, just like you're saying that you get pneumonia afterwards and, you know, hopefully, you know, this thing, you just get strong. That's the bottom line. It's, yeah. it's, well, listen, hey, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the support and the den that I've gotten. So you, you take care. Thank you so much, Tommy. Okay, all the best man. to you have and a, yours. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 506. Nasdaq's up 354. S&Ps are up 82. Come right back, folks. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 400. Nasdaq's up 302. S&Ps are up 65. Now, we just had a failure. And if you want to see, this is really cool, man. If you want to see how you get a test... And in this case, you get a failure on price and volume. Here you go. We got the NQs up. We had that high volume high. When I started the show, the NQs were down at this price point of 560, 11,560. We were talking about the test that I figured was going to be established. That test was at 573, which, you know, bottom line is that <laughs> that's like, uh, what, 200 points higher. It does the test. Now, watch how the test gets done. As you're going up to the test, what ends up happening is that you have 15,000 contracts. And I do this on a 10-minute, folks. You have 15,000 contracts versus going into 41,000, okay? So when you're coming into a swing, if you are coming in with lighter volume, particularly that much lighter volume, your probability goes higher that you're going to have a failure. Bottom line, no, but you got the test, okay? Now watch the test. The test, you got over the highs. We went all the way up to 794. The high there was 753 you close under it the bar closes at 699 and the high of course was 723 you had volume out here of 18,000 contracts versus 41,000 now what you'll do is this this is this is I mean <laughs> you're gonna crack up because I just do this all day long okay it even you know trading off a 10 minute bar so now, of course, well, the next question is, well, where are we going to go? Well, bottom line is that when you look at, this is what I look at. I look at, you see the bar prior to when it was going up, okay? So the bar prior to going up had 15,000 contracts. Now, that's the bar that we're going against. So on this 10-minute bar, if this has more than 15,000 contracts in the 10-minute, that says the probability is you're going to go lower. If we have less than 15,000, let's say we come in at 12,000, we come in at 12,000, what would end up happening is that this would go for the high again. We come in at like seven or 8,000, and right now you're, well, you wouldn't do it, do it, let me see that. We're at five minutes, we're already at 7,000, so that's not going to happen. 15,000, let's say you come in at 12,000. You come in at 12,000, man, the bottom line is that that's, that's going to go higher. We come in here on this bar, and we come in more than 15,000, you're going, you're going right back downtown. It, it, it will be so fast, folks. It'll be unbelievable. Because what happens, you always got to remember something, right? The markets are all about energy. And as energy gets expended, okay, um, bottom line, you know, it's a big deal. As energy accelerates, it's also a big deal. So what we saw in this market is that the energy got expended on the way up. You had the first big one got expended on the second one. And if, in fact, we get energy on the way down, well, guess what? The rest is history, as they say. So that's in your NQ. Now let's go over the ES. In the NQ, you got to remember something, that the NQ is still the weakest indice. And the bottom line with the NQ is that where the NQ goes, the market goes. That's, that's, how mar that's how these markets run, and they've run like that for a long period of time. Like I had mentioned a couple days ago, I heard a couple of analysts saying that, oh, you know, the tech boom is over. It's like, 
Like, that's not even close, folks, okay? Uh, the first time I heard that, I think, was in 2000, and, you know, I didn't know at that particular point, but it, it's not even, like, close. The, the technology and, like, what the definition of technology is, by the way, um, is very broad. You know, technology can go from the point of, you know, just turn around, and one second, you know, you'd, well, it wouldn't be a horse and carriage to a car. That's real technology, but... Uh, yeah, let, I got the ES up right now. Let's, let's take a look and see what the ES did. So the ES, you had the, the high spike was 38.29. You had volume up here of 110,000 contracts. We came into that with 50,000 contracts. We broke it with 65 versus 110. You closed below it, and now what's happening we are uh, six minutes into the bar, and get this straight, 39,000 contracts versus 50, six minutes. Okay, so the way this is set up right now, I'll wait for the next minute to, okay, we just did it. Next minute just came in. What do we got here? You got 40,000. Yeah, we're going down, man. So what you have is this. You get three more minutes left to do 10,000 contracts. It'll do 10,000 contracts. So it's go, we're, as you're looking at that bar, we're going to do higher contract volume than we did as it was trying to go test that area. So, hey, we'll see where it shakes out, you know. And then if we take a look at this on the daily, just kind of where we are right now, it's like, okay, uh, this, is, this part's kind of crucial. The high of yesterday was 3,807. And if you don't close over that high of yesterday, what that is, that's a test failure on price. We'll see what the volume is. If I go take a look at the SPY, this will be pretty cool to look at. We'll be able to see this shake out. With the SPY, what you're going to see yesterday, we did 104 million. We're at 100 million now. The SPY should close over 377.94. You're way over it now. You're, you're 379. The Q's, the Q's are going to be over it. I can't picture the Q's going back to 278. You're already at 283. But let me just bring this up intraday because we'll look at that spike intraday also. And you can see the spike intraday we had is this. The spike had uh, 4.8 million shares. You tested it with 2.9. And then you're coming down right now with 2.5 and you came into it before with a 2.3. That's the cues. In the SPY, you're going to see the same type of setup because they, they, they go together. That's the bottom line. And in the SPY, oh, let me get this intraday. Okay, so intraday, first spike had 7.1 million shares. Next one at 4.2, the one approaching coming up to it with 3.6, and we're already coming down with 3.7. This market still wants, there's still more sellers than there are buyers inside of this market. That's how this baby is shaking up, man. And, you know, I, you can expect the volatility to continue. What is go, what's going to be intriguing is that how this shakes out the next couple days. You know, bottom line is that um, where do people perceive uh, as to what, Powell was actually saying, you know, um, and what does that mean to everyone individually? You know, because uh, the bottom line is that that's, that's how markets work, you know, meaning, you know, okay, how do, I, how do we all perceive what's going on? Some of us think, you know, we want to buy this. Some of us think we want to sell it. <laughs> and uh, that's what makes a market. There's no doubt about it, man. Let's go over to the note and bond market and take a look at that note and bond market. Ten-year note first. You're up. 105, 1.5 ticks, and that, folks, is nothing. That's a joke, <laughs> because the bottom line is that this has been a one-way move lower. This uh, 10 years at 115, I think we did the number yesterday, it's like 102, you know. What, what, something that, you know, you just got to really understand, rates are going to go much higher than any of us have ever seen. Not any of us. I've seen 14. I bought my first house at 14.5%. But there's plenty of folks, okay, that weren't, you know, even born then, okay? <laughs> That's the bottom line. So stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Dow Industrial is up 320. NASDAQ's up 2863. S&Ps are up 52. We'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 250. You get the NASDAQ up 249. S&Ps are up uh, 48. And when I started this program, man, I said, hang on for the ride, and then that's quite a ride. Uh, you know, we, we go from kind of where we were right here all the way up to the S&Ps being up 100 to being back to 50. Um, you know, that's the kind of market that we have out here. Uh, we take a look at how the market is set up right now. Uh, bottom line is that you're going to have the SPY fail on price and volume. That's saying lower prices are coming at us, man. Um, and I'm talking about right into the weekend. You know, you, you, it would just... The way this is set up right now is that you very well could have another ABC structure on the way down. We got a monster one on, on happening right now. What would be really cool, so, well, I think it'd be really cool because when you have an ABC structure inside an ABC structure, your probability even goes higher that that ABC is going to uh, come to fruition. Right now, inside the SPY, we're 379. The ABC structure is 335. But what I mean specifically is that we very well could have another one that's starting out at 407, going down to the low of yesterday of uh, 370. Okay, so the bottom line was 30, 33 points. Uh, no, 409, 30, 39 points. No, 417. Oh, yeah, 417. That's even bigger. So that's uh, 47 points. That's bringing that off. Uh, oh, that's interesting. 83, uh, 43, 35. That, oh, my God. So check this out, man. If this happens... That it's the exact same. Oh, this would be crazy, man. It would be the exact same number, 335. 
if we broke this B and you broke it on volume. So, hey, we'll see where this shakes out. But let me tell you something, man. If you get uh, an ABC structure inside the larger ABC structure and you're getting the same numbers, yeah, your, your probability uh, is pretty good that, you know, that's where this thing is going to head. So, um, you know, time-wise, we're not in a good area, meaning um, Thursday, Friday, long weekend. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health happens in prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great way to start your, your day, folks. Check it out. Real! Look at him, folks. Building